Let us look at some questions from NSEIDs. Pyroxicam has particularly long half-life, 50 hours as it undergoes enterohepatic recycling. Pyroxicam has long half-life. So if you remember this drug, pyroxicam is an enolic acid derivative. It is a non-selective COX inhibitor and it has long-acting effect. Correct? So now you can answer this question. Pyroxicam has particularly long half-life. True. Very. Here's the next question. Paracetamol in an NSAID with a comparatively low anti-inflammatory effect. In paracetamol is an NSAID with a comparatively low anti-inflammatory effect. See, paracetamol is not an NSAID. Okay. It's a false statement. Paracetamol is not an NSAID. It does not have anti-inflammatory effect. It has comparatively low and all that. It does. No, it is not at all an NSAID. It does not reduce inflammation. Good. Next question. Which of the following statements about NSAIDs is true? Most NSAIDs are weak acids. Most NSAIDs are metabolized by the liver into active metabolites. Oxycams tend to have the longest half-life of all NSAIDs. All of the above. They are asking for true statement. Acid, propionic acid, salicylic acid could be true. Metabolized in liver into inactive metabolites. Again sounds true. Oxycam tends to have the longest half-lives in all. I don't know what Oxycams are. So, I'll go with all of the above. Well done. Very good. Oxycams are actually like pyroxicam and all those enolic acid derivatives. They tend to have the longest half-lives. That is also true. You have seen that. NSIDs increase the risk of uh, central nervous system adverse effects when taken with the group of antibiotics. Which group of antibiotics? Here the answer is quinolones. Quinolones um, you should not combine with. Okay. NSAID should be avoided in which group of patients? Kidney disease? Yes, you will avoid. Myocardial infarction, irritable bowel syndrome? Yes, you should not give in kidney disease. It will reduce the blood flow to kidney. Irritable bowel, bowel syndrome? Yes, because it will cause uh, gastric irritation further. Myocardial infarction? Why you should not give? Because it increases water retention, sodium and water retention. I'll go with all of the above. Yes. Uh, aspirin. Aspirin will not increase the risk of heart attack. Okay. Next question. NSAID is combat fever by inhibiting which prostaglandin? It combats fever by inhibiting which prostaglandin? fever. So, here the answer is by COX-2 you will get prostaglandin E2, right? So, this is the pathological one. So, E2 synthesis from the hypothalamus thereby reducing fever. So, NSIDs inhibits prostaglandin E2. This is very important. How does it do antipyretic action? By E2 inhibition. Let us look at the next question here. Which of the following NSAIDs is a selective COX-2 inhibitor? What is indomethacin? What is meloxicam? Oxicam is enolic acid. So, it is a COX-1. Uh, it is a non-selective. Itoricosib is a selective. Mifanamic acid is for menstrual pain. So, I will go with itoricoxib. Let us check. Highly selective COX-2 inhibitor itoricoxib. Preferential COX-2 is diclofenac. Indomethacin is an acetic acid derivative. So, definitely the answer here is etoricoxib. Okay. Which of the following two cyclooxygenase isoenzymes is constitutively expressed? COX-1 is COX constitutive. COX-2 is facultative. COX-1 also protects the stomach lining. Which of the following statements about NSAIDs is false? NSAIDs are not recommended during pregnancy. Not recommended during pregnancy is a true statement. It increases blood flow. and blood flow is a wrong statement. It reduces therapeutic effects of SSRIs. And NSAIDs have hypercoagulability effect. Yes, antiplatelet effect is there. 
they reduce therapeutic effect of an SSRI. What is SSRI? Serotonin, selective serotonin, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. These are for anti, these are antidepressants, okay. So, let us check the answer here. NSAIDs, they decrease the blood flow. Which of the following NSAIDs has greater inhibitory selectivity for COX-1 than COX-2? Inhibitory selectivity for COX-1 than COX-2. So, basically it is COX-1 more selective to COX-1 than COX-2. Diclofenac is definitely COX-2. Salicoxib is COX-2. Frubiprofen is uh, like ibuprofen. So, it should have COX-2. This one has anti-inflammatory. So, it is COX-2. I have a feeling it is pure B profen, but if it is not, please bear with me. Yes, pure B profen is highest and a greatest inhibitory selectivity of COX-1 than COX-2. Indomethacin does well, but it is not the same degree as pure B profen. Last question here, pyroxicam has particularly long half-life as it undergoes enterohepatic ring. We saw this already. It has a long half-life. <clears throat> so, we saw 10 questions on NSAIDs. Hope you have learned something more from this video. We will meet you in the next video. Bye.